Shit. You don't need no gun control. You know what you need? We need some bullet control. We need to main, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars for a bullet. You know why? Because if a bullet costs five thousand dollars, there'll be no more innocent bystanders. Everyone in America today seems to have their opinions about guns. Some people think they're great. This is what a man should do. A man should be able to shoot the gun and enjoy it. Go look at naked women. Yes. Yes. High five. <laughs> While others think they're terrible. Anyone who has a gun should go to jail. But the truth is, everyone in America has the right to bear arms. And this right has created a history of love and affection for the gun. I love my gun. Loves my gun. But is the right to bear arms worth the risk of having a gun fall into the wrong hands? This is Aaron Peterson. Aaron grew up just like any other girl in America. She played with dolls, tanned on the beach, dressed up like a princess for Halloween, and attended in sync concerts. During fall of 06, Aaron entered Virginia Tech, majoring in international studies. On April 16th, 2007, Aaron woke up early to attend her intermediate French class. She arrived to class and took a seat three rows back from the front of the classroom. About 40 minutes into class, Aaron and her peers heard gunshots throughout the building. On that snowy April morning, 18-year-old Aaron Peterson and 11 of her classmates were shot and killed to death. Clay Violent attended Aaron's class that morning and was the only person in the room who was not shot. Here is his account of what happened. And the next thing I know, there's like this gun coming through the door, followed by a man. I catch a glimpse of him and he's like a, an Asian man. I thought he looked like a student. He looked younger and he had a utility belt kind of on for ammo and stuff. And I just kind of dove under a desk and kind of prepared to die, I guess. He just started picking people off with the gun. I kind of heard it more than I saw, but after every bullet, I just prepared myself for the hit, you know? But it never came for me. And... A total of 27 students and five teachers were murdered that day. The man who pulled the trigger was Sung Hee Cho, a fellow Virginia Tech student. Cho used two firearms during the attacks, a 22 caliber Walter PP2, which he bought online, and a 9mm semi-automatic Glock 19 that he purchased from a gun store near Tech's campus. Cho passed the federally mandated background checks when purchasing these guns, even though he had been diagnosed on several occasions with mental health disorders. In 8th grade, Cho was diagnosed with depression and selective mutism. Also, a number of Cho's college professors reported that his writing and classroom behavior were disturbing. And in 2005, Cho had been declared mentally ill by a Virginia special court and was ordered to seek outpatient treatment. You sadistic stuff. I may be nothing but a piece of th You have vandalized my heart, raped my soul, and torched my conscience. You thought it was one pathetic void life you were extinguishing. Thanks to you. To make sure guns don't end up in the hands of people like Sung Hing Cho, lawmakers need to pass legislation that limits access to handguns and semi-automatic weapons. There are several things students like yourself can do to get this type of legislation passed. The first thing you should do is vote, and vote Democrat. For the most part, Democrats are more willing than Republicans to pass laws that restrict the possession of handguns and automatic weapons. If you are a resident of Arizona, you can either fill out an Arizona voter registration form or register to vote online. Another thing you can do to restrict gun laws is to go to www.csgv.org. CSGV stands for Coalition to Stop Gun Violence which seeks to secure freedom from gun violence through research, strategic engagement, and effective policy advocacy. To help out CSGV, click on the Get Involved link. You can also purchase merchandise, such as t-shirts, that show your support of stopping gun violence. Or you can spread CSGV's message through your Facebook or MySpace. By doing any of these things, you will be making America, Arizona, and Arizona State University a safer place to live in.